Hey you guys, what's up? Sniper here, and today I'm actually bringing back a series that I used to do all the time. This was actually the main thing I've, I've been doing on my channel when I first started, but for the new subscribers that I have, uh, these videos are basically just for the ones, for like, people who don't really play Domination as much, I pretty much teach you like all the, like, the good things about certain maps and what to do and like th like helpful tips and that kind of stuff, like nade spots and just sniping spots and things you have to watch out in general. But you know what, this time we're doing it on grid, and let's get on with this, alright? So, alright, so let's say we start off, let's see. There's um a lot of things you can actually do, but if you're actually going for B, you run in through the middle, which is what I like to do if I'm not going for clips or anything. I pretty much run straight through, go through the middle, jump on B, and the first thing I do is throw a stun behind the jeep, and then follow it, and followed by a frag grenade. Because like, pretty much 9 out of 10 times, there's always people coming, and... You want to stall them as much as you can as you go for B and your teammates go for C. And I'm going to follow this up with a clip so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Alright, so the game's starting and I'm ready to go in. I'm ready to go cap B. I got my mindset to go cap it and as you all know, not every situation is perfect. So, oh, look, see there? A person rushed up to try to get some feeds. But luckily I killed him. So you see I threw my stun, threw my grenade. Killed the person there that was stunned, killed the person behind the jeep, and proceeded to cap the flag, and managed to cap it, and I died. But here is a perfect nade when if spawning around the C. As you can see here, I'm running, um, I see, uh, the flag is flashing, we're about to lose B, but from here, I jump up and lob a nade. And this is actually one of the best nades I, I use, and at near the end of this video, I'm going to be showing you guys all the other nade spots. Once you've captured C, it's all about defending. And C, as my teammates proceeded to go cap A, we now have a triple cap, which we have to wait until the enemy takes C. And once we pretty much have C, it's all about defending it from there. And I'll be now. I'm going to show you guys some of the A spawn st stuff. All right, so this is the stuff for A spawn. So when I spawn, uh, spawn on this side, I what I like to do is go straight to B. If I'm not, if I'm by myself, I'll go cap it myself. But if someone else is rushing me, rushing with me, which is pretty much out of eight out of ten times, someone will come with me. I will go behind the dumpster, head glitch, and snipe out the people that are coming through the middle, and stall them all enough just so my teammates have enough time to run around and come get B or just defend the side where the garages would be and the jeeps and pretty much. You know, just defend A and B because that is the best combination for domination on this map, and we gotta do whatever we can to like defend it. As you can see, X2 right there, that is the orange spot, I believe. Let me hold on one second. X2, yep, X2 is the orange that goes up, looks down that A. Because if you're at X1, you can switch, uh, quickly move over to X2 just in case there are people at A and you're trying to fight them off you can take cover behind the blocks in a propane tank and just be able to pick them off one by one unless you you throw an aid which I highly recommend it on this map because it's simple areas where you can chuck nades and the only thing you have to worry worry about is a roof and here at x3 which is if you're at a and end up spawning on the other side you can actually look down which is the turquoise area you have all that coverage is it may not be a lot but it's still enough to push the enemy back and have your teammates come around and help you and just push them away and make them go back to see now I'm gonna be showing you guys all the, sp uh, the nade spots so pretty much one thing you really have to worry about when throwing nades around here is the roof I know it can be a problem if not that great at chucking nades and I really recommend using frag grenades I know some people like to use semtex and pretty much there's there's a lot of key things when throwing nades on this map and that's trying to get the right side of which of the flag icon that you see as you can see here pretty much I threw it to the right side of the flag and it landed more to the right and this one is more up to the middle which is pretty much the perfect spot and it gets it right dead center and I can see here the top views as you can see where they are and I don't know if you can see the nade and there they go
Alright guys, well that was pretty much it. I hope you guys like this video. I don't know, I don't remember if I left anything out, but uh, this is pretty much all the important stuff that I know that I like to use, and hopefully you guys learned something from this. And this, I'm not like saying you guys don't know how to play Domination, but this is just for the people who don't really play Domination that much, and or don't snipe as much, and or do both together at the same time, but you know what I mean, you know? Alright, but um, yeah, if you guys want, follow me on Twitter, that'd be amazing, and you know, maybe we can play or something, alright? Peace out guys.